the following content contains sound. It has been shown that some sapiens of the Homo have episodic memory for some time. Therefore, forming a bad reaction to certain sounds. Nevertheless, the sounds we use are only to mark actions and notions, which are, of course, ridiculous. We are not marking the people who have them. No, 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 because you know in time, you may change what you do and change what you think. Having said that, this is correlation sensation, a show where I talk about the mothers of my million of protuberances. Yes, yes. They come in all sorts of shapes, colors, and textures, and sounds. But of course, we will proceed to something more important. <laughs> I just wanted to say hello. To hello. Listener. Yes. Our human listener. We have more than that. We have hello. five. I forgot we his come name. in your mouth. It will be human friend come in my mouth. No, it is uh, Friend Human. Not together and squirrel hunter. That's that's the two. Oh yeah. Hey you get uh you get any comment from your buddy? Yes, listen to episode 69. What do they think? Your mother is very, very raunchy. Did they like it, though? They thought it was it was a unique asset. I think that it, we added a lot of shock value, which is necessary. What was so shocking? I think it was the about 45 minutes straight pussy jokes that Dunn did it in. Jokes. What's wrong with that? Okay, I'm. If they're not jokes, we all need to go get checked and evaluated by a human psychologist. Why? We have a robot That's why, for that. Because you don't know why. We have a robot. That doesn't make for any that. sense because I'm different. It's not a different thing. It's like a. It's like a. That's way beyond different. It's. Have you been in grade school? They're pretty messed up there too. Void. It's always going back to school and children with you. We have to focus. We are adult. I'm referring to the self as. We are adult men. We need yes, to focus. I know. I'm saying it's back to your own childhood. Your own. Let's childhood. stray away from any childhood void. Let's focus on adulthood and beyond. This do you know time? any f- people that are teachers that deal with crazy kids? I'm just saying. We're back to kids, Void. Goddamn. I'm talking about teachers that are adults. This one time, I was in the elementary school, and I put rocks up my anus. Now that's just facetious. Good story. Uh, okay, what are we I, covering I, I today? I think that was a fake story. Okay, so what are we covering today? Okay. What? Did you cuss at me in our native tongue? <laughs> Okay, first of all, that was very fucking offensive. Okay, I, listen, we can discuss this later, but goddamn, we need to move forward with this. Fart pie mouth! I can't, I can't tell with his accent. It's just a little off. It's the accent's a little hard to hear it. Hear what? What are you saying? What he was saying was so offensive that the human mind isn't able to comprehend. Yeah, and you say, I need to go to a psychologist, blah. Well, he said something about taking a grapefruit and fucking everyone's mother on I'm going planet. to throw this one back. Have you ever been to grade school? Grapefruit school? Okay. Void. What? I got something in my front pocket for you. Please help it's candy this time. A bippity boppity boo. What is it? I pull it out and rub it around. Is Got it? something in my front pocket for you. Is it chapstick? I'll close my eyes. It's a uh, Jim Batista de la Porta for episode 72. 
Oh, oh, he was metaphorical pocket. And a man named Ma. Is it someone's birthday? <sighs> Purple seems mortified. Are you okay? I just, that was a lot of setup for his penis to run its way right around your mouth just to tell me what we are going to do as he threw his hands up in celebration. And then for you to just ignore it was next level. Good times, baby. It was something. So, last the time, I know I had to mention the one sapien of the homo named Gerard the Blasius, but I tried to look him up, and there was about a three-minute article I could read about this bastard. Well, actually, I don't know if he's a bastard or not, because there's not much known about Gerard, or at least on the public view. So... This segment is covering a Jim Batista, and it's gonna start well. It always does start, you guys. What's that? Jim Batista oozed out of his mammalian mother's vagina. That's a pretty picture, isn't it? Oozing out? Yeah. I sometimes like to imagine them uh, kind of coming out like uh, Jim Carrey did in that movie. Of the rhino's butthole, where he first starts with a couple of fingers. I think that's what the joke was. And scopes it out, and then he just presses his face against it, and the elasticity in that I asshole. I love the crowd watching, saying, oh my god, it's the miracle of birth. What are you guys talking about? Oh, uh, uh, it's a human movie. You wouldn't get it, because you're too busy. My parents took me to go see that as a child. With Dave Batista's cousin. Who's Dave Batista? It's a longer story. Just let's move forward. He uh, throws greasy men in a ring. What? He's like his wrestler. asshole What ring? are you watching? Greasy men being tossed around a room? What? what kind tossed of... in his ring? Yeah. Those greasy men tossing rings? Over their penises? Well, I mean, if you call the belt a ring, sure. I don't even know what he's talking about now. No, it's, it's void. Okay. The mother human's name was not a given. But it's noted that she was the sister of another human named Adriano Guglielmo. Hold on. We have her fucking sister's name, but we don't have her name? No, but she was a sister of another human. Yes, we have, we have the aunt's name, but we don't have the mother's no, name? No, it's the uncle. Oh, son of a bitch. Let's rewind. What, where are you? <laughs> So, the mother of... Wait, Jim... wait, are we going to mention that Gork has time travel? God damn it, Void! Now I gotta edit that shit out! Fuck! Hold on, we have fucking time travel? Oh, I mean, come didn't on. you hear them just wind the tape back? I Don't. mean, it's not editing, oh, people. Oh, it's Void time travel. It's the audible time tra- That makes sense. Okay, continue. Yeah, boy, don't tell purple, goddammit. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's time travel. Oh, is it? That would have been easier, but it would have been wrong. Well, you know what? There's a lot of wrong things in the world. It's no biggie. I feel like I have to leave it, because if I ask what else is wrong in the world, I'm going to get something I really don't want to hear. Capitalism? Yeah, that's right up Void's Alley, but you're not the one I'm worried about, my friend. Oh, I don't know why he's worried about me. Ford is talking about children. No, I'm not. I only mentioned my own childhood. That's all I ever... Have you ever been to an elementary school? Oh, yes, I came from one. Hey, Ford, last episode. What? You ever talked to a 14-year-old? Yeah, you asked me if I had talked to a 14-year-old boy. Oh, I do. I have a niece and nephew, so obviously, yes, I do. You... Okay, do you remember the context of that conversation? Oh, god damn it. There's nothing going on, Jesus fucking Christ. First your mother, now your niece and nephew. That's not true, that's impossible. Void, I told you, that's not nice. I don't do that, that's just terrible. That's not even They don't a joke. like that, Void. I don't, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm going to throw up, this is... Yeah, this is turning this is real. into a Serbian This film. is too fucking real. Um... FBI, when you inevitably listen to this and try to bring us to court, understand that none of this is real. It's all supposed to be a joke. 
It's all in a snow globe <laughs> in a child's mind. It's just a joke. Oh, don't, don't come over here. He's sounding like a ghost at Christmas past. Yeah, he's trying to ham it up, but nope, that's genuine. Yes. I assure you, as my lawyer, as my witness. Anyway, so we know the aunt, we know the uncle, we know the cousin. No, we don't know aunt. What? Okay, well Is then. her name Aunt Eta? Aunt God Eater? damn it, you two buffoons! Back to topic. Back to topic. Just calling out the hits, Purple. So. Sorry. Keep going. What? 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 Continue reading is what he said. Oh my God. The mother's name was not given, but it's noted that she was the sister of a male human named Adriano Guglielmo Spadaflora. Adriano is noted by source two for being well learned with a position as a conservator in the archives of Naples. Maples? Marbles, Void, listen. Unlike the mother without a name given in source one or two, the father's name was given in source two. The male sapien of the Oma who squirted some semen into Gian Battista's mama's vagina was Nardo Antonio de Aporta. He has a way with romantics, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. When an artist squirts a semen inside of your mother, that's Gian Battista. Now he's just saying a different language, literally. I think he's trying to imagine it. Ugh. He's slowing down and getting very sensual. You're very descriptive, Purple. You speak up from personal experience. I'm just... Sorry, I was trying to do mood music. Well, it worked. I'm pissed. I, you're supposed to get horny, Purple. Horny. <laughs> hey, guess what, you guys? What? Nardo was noted for being a man of considerable wealth and importance. It's shown that Nardo was so wealthy that he had land in the ships. More specifically, Nardo had three homes, one being inside the city of Naples. While Juan was a villa in Du Porta, located just northwest of Naples in some hills. While the other was a deemed a magnificent mansion in the Gulf of Naples, north east of, or northeast of Sorrento, in a place called Vico Equense. He sounds like he's the Floridian. From Florida or something. Yeah, it's like saying I'm super important because I live in the hills somewhere. Yes, or a gated community. Yes, Naples. I live in Naples. I live ab above the left Naples. That's nice. In the hills of Naples. Yeah. Very Napoli up there. Yeah, it was probably a really big wine snob too. Yeah. Uh, you guys sound kind of jealous. Of, of what's his name? Yeah, he had three homes. I Dirt? mean, yes, I have one home, but it's in the middle. F what good is it? None of them are heated or cooled or air conditioned. Or you just got well, it's three off because the temperature is very nice. One was by the cold. Well, this was also before that time. So I mean, both of those. Oh, I thought you were referring to my actual basement. I mean, he probably Ooh. had a servant to uh... the fuck void. I literally thought that was a joke at my expense. No. Not in a bad way. Just as Believe a, it or not, we are, we're we talking about the podcast. Oh, okay. Maybe he had a servant with a big, huge uh, leaf or pond frond. Well, one of the places was located off the Gulf. Which, oh, so mm, it would be uh, nice more and temperate, breezy. cooler. Yeah. Oh, um, so he was like in Louisiana or Texas. What? Naples, Texas. No, no, no. The Gulf of Mexico? Naples, where it's now called Italy. Yes, so it'd be... Oh, fuck me. Okay, that, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, so he summered in probably at the Gulf, and then was inland more when it was colder. Nope. Lived in Naples. One home was inside of Naples. Ah. Oh, okay. The other two were like around town, you know, around yeah. the area. Did yeah. he have three wives, too? I have three homes, and let me tell you about how wonderful they are. I drive a Mercedes. 
You guys None are acting them, huh? very ugly. You need to go to psychologist. I'm looking at brains for a lot of money. Why would I need to go to a psychologist? I porked some whore I don't know the name of. <laughs> that is Dirk, or whatever his name is. Dirk? Oh, you said his name was Perky? Nardo. Nardo, of course. How do I forget Nardo? Yeah, Nardo. They had weird names. Nardo. Okay, oh, was Void. it Nardo Di Vinci? Void, really? Da Vinci Nardo? Void, you're going to talk shit on that. Nardo DiCaprio? My goodness. Perhaps someone would wonder how Nardo acquired such pleasures. Okay. Um, allow me to be that person. What? I wonder how Nardo DiCaprio acquired such wonderful pleasures. I don't even know who that is. Futures. Oh, my God. Did he own a double wide? Nardo Antonio was a secretary to the Emperor Charles V. Of oh. China? Oh, my God. That's why Naples was in Italy, but that's just from fucking pizza. It wasn't even considered Italy at the time. Yeah, okay, it was, it was the Roman Empire, right? Yeah, Roman Helmet Empire. Okay. So... Nardo had the responsibility of giving a civil appeals to the vicariate. The vicariate is a church, if you did not know. I did not know. Uh, or, which gods were these? Were these the Roman gods or the uh, Roman Catholic? Well, considering they were Roman, Roman. Okay, that explains it. Well, the time would indicate they were no longer pagans. Okay. The only thing they were pagan was each other. What are you talking about? There's no multiple gods with each other. Okay, let me explain to you what pegging is. I uh, don't, 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 we don't need to. Ignore. Why not? Because last time I explained void, what pegging was, I oh, pegged void. I already void. knew what it was. I pegged void. No, you didn't. Sure. You have to be a, uh, not have a penis to be pegged because it's You have called... to not have a penis to be pegged. No, to be the pe- person pegging because it's just butt sex if it's just a penis. Okay. Mm, very well, interesting. That's not necessarily true. Mm. Remember how I strapped the strap on on and then pegged the shit out of you? Oh, okay. So it just has to be involved with a non-actual. Wait, you digits. suck both in the hole? No. Did that feel good, purple? No. Well, he couldn't feel it. His uh, asshole is entirely too tight. Well, that's a good sign. Because nope. that means I don't uh, take too many. Take too many, just enough. When I am a fucking hot tea now or something? No, I, we literally sat there for like 30 minutes and I'm like, just relax, just relax, just relax. I was in a lot of pain and my penis doesn't work the way it used to anymore. Oh. It's lost a lot of blood. It, I think it died in there. Ah, nice. You know who else died? Who? Oh. King Charles V. Oh, from, who from was... China. No, Purple. He was the he Roman wasn't king. emperor. It wasn't king, it was emperor. You said king, you fool. He was called King Charles. You said the Emperor fifth. Jones. But he was an emperor born in Belgium, ruled in Germany. Belgium, France. He ruled. No, Belgium, Belgium. God damn it. <laughs> Belgium is a country. <laughs> now I gotta look this shit up. I've heard some awesome jokes from some human people, and uh, I wanted to share it. Void. Yes. And Gork. Yes. Nah, Void. I'm going to let Void in on this joke. Okay, okay. Uh. You're not allowed to hear it. What does a human female say when she sees a big penis? Oh. She can't because oh. she has her mouth full. I didn't think you'd know. That's the most retarded thing ever. What? Was, that, was that actually the joke? Yeah, I didn't think you'd know. Well, obviously, I don't. Talk obviously, to... I don't know. That would make sense. Hey, hey, what, 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 what doesn't talk to women but is around them a lot? You, because my penis is in their mouth. No. What? Hey, you fucked that joke up. <laughs> no, 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 no. What's around me doesn't talk. Your farts. Your well, mom? they say something. 
Are you, are you still trying to seal the deal on this? No, you asshole. <laughs> because now that I know where we're going, uh, your dog. Oh fuck you! I don't have a dog. Not anymore. Yeah, it's dead. It's been dead since 2015. The panda's been dead for a couple weeks. Okay, we've all been struggling in our own ways. It's been like a month. What? what, what? Time flies when you're having fun. <clears throat> Go fuck off. Yes. And that joke you said it make no sense. Literally, that was the joke. What I don't a, actually believe you. What does a woman say when she sees a big dick? You're kidding me. You could be doing all sorts of shit when you see a big dick. She could have been playing with her Nemo while watching the porno playing when she was watching a big dick. Her Nemo. You ever heard of Finding Nemo? Oh, because guys can't find the clit. You know that not all men have that problem? I don't either. He doesn't. You don't. Why are you getting defensive? Wait, I'm what's not- a clit? Funny. It's the everlapping gobstopper on the top of the pussy. <laughs> everlapping gobstopper? Lasting, everlasting. Sorry, that was a Freudian slip. Mm. Or a Freudian clit. I don't think so. Why Lapping. are you interchanging those two? What? Slip and clitoris. You got to play on words. Come on, buddy. That's Is it? You're is Purple's bring... game plan just to say everything wrong all the time? What? Clitoris. Did I say that incorrectly? No, I'm just saying names and facts and locations. It's not clitoris. I thought that was a car. A Ford clitoris. That explains why I can't find it. You're looking for a car down there. Well, I have a beeper, but it doesn't fucking work. Void, what are you doing down there? Oh, I got something. You guys, you guys, I found no, something. No, I'm not closing He's my eyes. Just jiggle his no, I gotta away. show you. No, Void, I'm sure I he found is. it. I finally found it. The Great Penetration. It's a stick. It's not a stick. That humming is his penis. We lost this. We lost this when Void was throwing it out, trying to get rid of the cocaine when we were getting chased by the feds. Oh, yeah, I remember. The Great Penetration. Do you hear someone have been resorting to put crystals up their pussies? Did you hear what you just said? Yes. How am I supposed to make sense of that? <laughs> that is a literal <laughs> Penetrator. Penetrator. No, penetrator. Penet- penetrator. You're saying it wrong. Am I? Penetrator. Penetrator. No, you're referring to something that's a penetrator. But I'm talking about penetrator. Penetrator. It's a name of technology. God damn it. I'm getting if we lost. let the fucking feds get a hold of this, it would fuck everything up. That would, not the coke. It was just, it's just the penetrator. They did all that. <laughs> the penetrator. Okay. What's I your see. fascination with sex? Huh? I don't, I mean, if anybody void over here looking for the clitoris, the 2000. 2009 Space Odyssey clitoris. I was going to make a younger joke because of all of the school jokes and the 14-year-old boys I decided to pace. You're welcome, Void. I am more oh, than fine. the magical clitoris. Yes. I don't get that joke. It, it's okay, buddy. What? The magic school bus? Oh. God damn it. Even I know that shit. I sit down to penetrate shore right here. Don't you think we should put it in a more secure location other than just sitting right there on the table next to the ashtray and all the empty cans of booze? We could. But I think as long as it's right here, not near any windows, we should be okay. Or birds. Maybe I'll just put it back in my pocket for safekeeping. Okay. What is in your pocket? What do I hear rattling around in there? Is that his phone? Just some baby's feet skeleton from Joffrey. Did he just say a foot? I heard feet skeletons from Joffrey. Maybe he's going to make gelatin. I don't know. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, isn't jello baby hooves? Baby hooves? Yeah. Oh! Oh, no. Horse hooves and horse assholes and lips. What? You never ate jello before? Void. Yeah. What the fuck have you been huffing? 
You think Jello's made out of hooves and horse lips? Yeah. Okay, well, whatever Jello you're eating, I don't want any of it. That's glue, you asshole. <laughs> oh, you've been eating my almost glue. But what the hell is Jello made out of? Oh, it's just it's it's just uh, cartilage, duh. It's Jello. No, you beef clown gelatin, ass. Pig it is gelatin, gelatin, and not horse gelatin. Okay, uh, back to topic. <laughs> gelatin comes uh, from collagen. Uh, purple, why are you chugging a beer? Gelatin comes from collagen. Naples. Naples. King Henry the Eighth. We're we doing something. Charles. Yeah, v. we're talking about um, Petey. I think is his name. No, no, no. Uh, oh, Jim Batista. Oh yes, Batista. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go pee. Okay, well, I'll talk about Batista in the meantime. Yeah, you talk about uh, Gerardo Batista. Okay, I guess it's time for the Purple Void. Yes, today, uh, today's little segment of the Purple Void. Void, what do you have on deck for us? Well, um, I just learned a lot of things about Jello, and I'm not yeah. going to repeat them because. What I said was disgusting and disgraceful. Of what? Well, that's glue, not jello. Yeah, but of horses, right? Like it's disgraceful to horses? No, just disgusting. Oh, okay. Uh, well, okay. Well, that makes sense. Yes. So how's Purple other than wanting to rip out his hair? Purple's losing all of his hair slowly. Mm. My friend decided to go full bald and it made him look way better. I have an ugly head, Void. I don't think it'd make me look better. You don't know that. You're too self-conscious. I have pretty curly hair, too. Yeah. Kind of covers it up. How about you go bald? If you go bald, I'll go bald. Actually, I won't ever go bald. How do you know that? Because my dad still has his hair, and also my uh, my uh, mother's parents, their dad had hair. Yeah, 80% of all human beings, by the time they turn 70, suffer from male pattern baldness, females included. You keep telling yourself that. I know, but that won't fucking matter by then, because... Depends. I'm going gray in my beard a little. Oh, that reminds me. You gotta stop flushing down bodies in the toilet. It smells like a goddamn morgue. Well, I mean, a panda can only flush so hard. Don't you talk about Fuzzy Wuzzy. I thought that I was. You're fun. still flushing the panda bear? Well, I mean, I can't flush the whole thing at once. It'll clog. Yeah, and it also looks like it's already been digested, too. Boy. I'm sorry. I had a barbecue. It's over a month old, aside from the fact that you're eating a panda bear. So he froze him. Yeah. Okay. Now he's a polar bear. That's not how that works. So, Emperor Charles V. We're going to call him Emperor. Oh, I from know. China. No, from the Holy Roman Helmet Empire. Okay, yeah, these guys. Yeah. So, in order to try to unite the Roman Empire, King Charles, or Emperor Charles V, decided he wanted everyone to believe in only one or true religion. What was that? Buddhism, idiot. What? I'm so perplexed. <laughs> is that is that why you worship booties? Booty, 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 rockin' everywhere. Booty, 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 booty. Is that like their first chant before they start services? No, that's their prayer before bed. Ah, uh, yes. The holy booty army. Is that like how Muslims pray several times a day, yeah, but our Buddhists noon... decide to shake their butt every day? Our noon prayer sounds a lot like this. To the windows. To the wall! The sweat drop down my balls! Oh, you're familiar. Ah, skeet, 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 motherfucker! So you guys both part of this eighth amendment religion? Well, that was too many skeets, but yeah. Okay. Yes, we, there's a religion now that we're supporting, and we're going to go to door to door that it, uh, makes booty a religious experience. So, the Correlation Association has a new religion called the Bootyism? No, no, I think it's, I can't remember the name of it up the top of my it's head. It's called Assology. No, there's something. Oh, no, that's no. a good there's one. There's actually a different name for it. I can't remember. <clears throat> but there literally is a religion that prays to the booty. Yeah, it's ours. No, there's 
There's only one true booty worshiping religion. Yeah, boy. who 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 cares about those other dumbass yeah. religions? God damn it! I'm yeah. trying to get the name right. We're the only one that makes the most sense. All hail assology. Yes, assology. all hail assology. I thought you were both about ready to chant assology. <laughs> okay, on three, one, two, three, assology. Yeah, I thought that was gonna be the way that worked. Great, now you made an ass out of myself. Welcome to Assology. I did not make you have an ass out of yourself. You managed to pull that one off all by your own, buddy. Mm, call me Pucker. So, no. No, I won't call you Pucker. So, uh, yeah, you want to talk about uh, this Roman helmet empire? Uh, sure. So, at the time, people had different opinions of uh, this dogma. And, uh... When you have different opinions resulting on one or on one dogma, it results in arguments based on their interpretation of what some words mean, such as the words in the Bible. Like, during Charles V's reign, he declared war against Protestantism. So, since Martin Luther, not King, Martin mm-hmm. Luther, would not the recant... The guy who uh, wrote uh, some of the uh, oh different versions of the God. Bible. He had a dream, I know. Will not recant his theological works in front of the diet held in Worms, Germany, in the spring of 1521. That's just a little added, you know, moi, panache. Moi, panache. There he goes, making up words again. Panache is a real word. God damn it, Void. You're always trying to knock me down. Sorry. It's just... What is it, Void? Nothing. You jealous? No, I'm trying to get comfortable. Did I have the penetration shore? Well, Pen- where is it now? Did you shove it up your butt? No, he put it in his pocket void. We watched. It's a penetration shore, not penetrate whore. Remember the whole thing with the baby feet in his pocket for whatever reason? Oh. It's for safekeeping. Okay. Something to remember. His prison wallet? <laughs> no. They let you have wallets in prison? Well, he's talking about your anus. What? Yes, the your cavernous anus, to be more exact. Cavernous. 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 Cavorkian? Cathargic. Okay. The family... Light tight. Catholic. The family of Jim Batista is commonly referred to as being Neapolitan. Assholes! <laughs> Neapolitan ice cream? Which is referencing Naples. Naples, okay. Naples. Back to our primary human of interest. There's no solid evidence that Gian Battista was born in Naples, in his family villa. But many speculate this is where Gian Battista was born, since there were several church-related privileges he had, which were reserved only for those who were born in the town there. But, since Gian Battista's father was a very special secretary, I would not be surprised... If they gave some leeway towards him and his family. Well, maybe it was also for residents, too. So people that are of important with residents. It says it was specifically reserved for people born there. Well, I don't know. I just read something and I put it down here. It could be all wrong. Yeah, it, it was Sounds a... right. It feels right. Yeah, it felt pretty right when I typed it on this thing. Yeah. 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 Mockingbird. What? I called you a mockingbird. Yeah. Just because you're mimicking him. I, what? I'm Is not. that really why, Void? Oh, yes, I'm saying the obvious. So I called you Captain Void Obvious. Really clever. Oh, God, that was good. Yeah, that got a, me good. I thought that was pretty good. I felt like a tingling sensation yeah, that going took right me a down while. my spine and shooting out of my penis. I've been thinking about it for a while. You should get that checked out. Did you put a quartz crystal in your urethra and then take it a hammer and smash it? You'll no. shoot sparks out if you do. Of my no, I don't think I would. Yeah, if you actually uh, put enough pressure on the quartz crystal, uh, sparks will happen. Yeah, I don't think the penis can actually put that much pressure on it. I said use a hammer and smash it. Would it would wreck your dick. Yeah, that would really hurt the baby maker. You know your penis doesn't make babies, right? Well, I mean, it makes half of it. No, your penis doesn't do that. 
Oh, it just has the DNA code. Gotcha. Nope. Dick doesn't do that either. What? No, your your penis is just simply an injector, like a needle. Exactly, it's the it's the tube to go. Oh, so it's the test for the flow down That's below. Right. Don't you know? Semen comes out. I didn't know my penis was in the navy. Did you hear about the new um, military ordinance about the navy uh, bases having to be so far away from army bases? Why no. were they fucking each other? No, it turns out the military doesn't want semen all over their privates. Well, I mean, maybe they should tell them to quit masturbating in their bunks. Close. No, you see, you call the people from the Navy, they're semen. Uh, no, I get the joke. Then you call the people in the Army, they they have a rank of private. Yes. Oh, Void. You are no longer Captain Void Obvious. What? Purple is now Captain Void Obvious. What? How is that obvious? You're stating the obvious. What obvious? It was obvious it's Void did not understand. infamously known that people in the Navy are called seamen. Infamously, you say? Yeah. I have not met one sapien of the homo who has not made a joke like that. What do submarines and penises have in common? To be fair. They both have seamen. Bah, 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 bah. To be fair, most of the homie and sapiens that you're talking about, the homies, the homie sapiens, peace, is, um, they don't usually live very long after you interact with them. They're tasty. Okay. Except Void's mom. I no, mean, she she's extra tasty. She extra tasty, so I don't want to kill her. I want to keep that, you know, keep siphoning it off little by little. It's kind of like a yeast factory, dog. I don't oh, know. yeah. Like Bread that. and cheese. Mm-hmm. Mm. All you got to do is give her some wine. And a couple antibiotics. Yeah. Get rid of them good bacteria and give me more yeast. Anyways, Gian Battista was deterred at the four sons that slid out from between their mother's legs. Unfortunately, the eldest son died during childhood. Oh, that's terrible. Perhaps it was another case of shaken baby syndrome. To the windows, to the walls, she must have been part of the Shaking astrology. the baby till it falls. <laughs> a real lap, a rap genius, lyrical genius there. Actually, that was pretty good. I'm I'm kind of into that one. To the windows, to the walls, shake the baby till it falls. Ah, oh, skeet skeet. Okay, well, now I'm lost. Because I don't know if that's a skeet skeet moment. You know what's really crazy? That song came on edited at my work. That's cool. Like, the radio edit of that song came on at work. What did the radio edit sound like? It was literally every other word, but still had skeet skeet skeet. Did it have balls? It would, like, just cut out. The sweat dropped down my... Really? Yeah. That's stupid. Everybody knows where the sweat's dripping out. I know, that's the point. I think the point of the edited one is you're supposed to be in your car. Sits and and becomes stagnant around the sphincter. Yeah. You know, speaking of sphincters, the two brothers that survived were the older son named Gian Vincenzo and the younger son named Gian Ferrente. What? Why do they have the name Gian? Yeah, both I, are... I think that is the family name. One of them I... named him Teresa? No, it's De Aporta. No, what? no, no, no. I mean like a family first name. So their middle name is actually their name. And then a first name no. is the carried down name, right? No. It's not Asian. <laughs> what? That's what they usually do in Asia. Oh. You know. No, I don't know. I'm not from Asia. Wait. You but the king know. of England is, according to you. Not or the, the king Holy of, Roman Empire. Not Empire. the king of England, you idiot. The Holy Roman Empire. Right? Uh, calm down now. The Holy Roman Empire, King Lord. Savior. Vagina. Get his fucking title right, you clown. Go ahead. I don't even know where I was. Well, we were talking about how his brother John and his brother John were born after the first one had died... Gian. Yeah, Gian. Vincenzo and Gian Ferrante. I'm going to have three sons. Four sons. One's not going to make it. I'm going to name one Gian and another one Gian. In referencing the whole Asian last name first, you know, family name first. Sure. Um, What's that Korean guy? Everybody talks about. Bruce Lee. Kim Jong-un and Kim Jong-il. Kim Jong-whatever. So not Bruce Lee. Sinopros? Shit. What? 
Nothing. Another day done. Okay. You might. I don't know. I really hate that my watch dings. Yeah. So, Giambattista was certainly one who was shown how to desire questioning and learning, due to the sapien of the homos, who have indulged themselves in music, poetry, mathematics, and philosophy, held within their own home by their father. It's said that the home in the town of Naples was the primary location for these sort of events, along with the Vela de uh, Pradela in Vico Equenza during some hot summer days. Pudamen. Yeah, Pudamen. Pudamen. Yeah, Pudamen. Puti, 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 yeah. puti everywhere. Yeah, just in front of your cadet nucleus, oh, in your corpus striatum. Do you know what he's saying, Boyd? I know he's at least quoting something that we covered before, so I know that much. True or false? How if I know? Rather than leaving children out of the discussions held there, the three sons that lived past childhood would end up participating in discussions with all these sapiens of the Oma. Although Nardo hosted these discussions, it's communicated that the mother's brother, Uncle Adriano, Guglielmo Spedafora is charged with organizing such events. On top of all the discussions held with several people in various fields, housed in his father's home, private tutors are relayed for teaching Gian Battista, several of whom were considered top in their fields, such as Domenico Pesemente, Donato Antonio Altomare, and Giovanni Antonio Pisamo. The former is labeled as a classicist, while the latter three were considered philosophical humans who were also called the medical doctors. Mathematics and medicine are believed to have been the primary focus for Gian Battista's tutoring, along with meetings and private discussions. He also had attended some lectures held by one polymath named Girolamo Cardano. Girolamo Gadharma. All these people sound like they're in the mafia. That's very racist, Void. Considering they're all Italian. What? Nothing. Just wanted to see where you were going to run with it. Do you have to go soon, Purple? No. Why? Because you keep on checking the phone. Yes. My wife's sending me nudes. Nudes? Yes. Can I see? No. You Why don't not? want to. Well, because it's a real vagina. Boyd's mom showed you hers. Yeah, that's the thing. That's not a real vagina. I don't know what it is, and I don't think that there's a medical term for it, but that is like a trench. Marianne's trench? Worse. Like a fucking World War II trench. There's dead bodies in there and shit. Well, how many afterbirths has she had? One. <laughs> you avoid? Oh, yes. No, I, I meant I meant failed attempts. You know, failed attempts at afterbirth. Well, hey, I have a good idea. Back to topic. Yes. Okay. Enough about my mother's man. Mambalian, Mambalian, Mam- afterbirthians, Mambalaya. Very good, Gork. I I don't need gratification from you, Purple. Okay, that sucked balls. Okay. Well, I'm glad your opinion, you feel valid, I think is kind of retarded. What's ball sucking? If a woman does it, why stop her? What do you think we're talking about? Okay. At the age of 23, in 1558, Jim Batista is credited for publishing a four-volume book, you guys. Guess what it's titled? I'm a little teapot short and stout. Wrong. Holy hell, that was a bad guess. See, that's why I cut him off. Last Tip episode. me over and hear me shout. Oh, my God. It's called Magie Naturalis Libre. Oh, yeah. I was going to guess that one. That was my very yeah. next guess. Yeah, it's the most logical idea. You know. I was close, though. No, I was kidding. Honestly, I think if you would have gone, you would have been infinitely closer. If I had quoted Monty Python, maybe the guy smacking their foreheads going, Goosh. I'm going to watch The Life of Brian this weekend, you guys. Have you seen it before? Once. Okay. Uh, like 10 years ago. Yeah, there's a lot of penis in that movie. It's kind of gross. 
I kind of like it. What? Yeah. There's what a- are you, a homophobe? No. I'm you know just what saying, else? I'm not attracted to oh, penis. Oh, I'm so scared of penis. You know there's what so else? much penis. You oh. know what else has a lot of penis? What? Porn. Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah. But you just, in the beginning of this very episode, you let Gork walk up to you as you close your eyes and rub his penis around your mouth as you were going to guess what he had in his pocket. Purple. You know what I said about private It was style. a crystal. Yeah, I wish it was more private. It was private until you spoke about it on the podcast. That's not how privacy works. I had to witness it. We were in the privacy of our ship. You had your hands raised above your head as you undulated your hips. It was just giving him your little schmeckle. Just letting him rub it around, and you're like, guess what it is? And Void's like, I don't know. What is it? I don't know. And then you're like, episode. And you're shaking your hands. 61, right? No. No. We, what the fuck? So. What Sorry, it? my brain worked backwards because I thought 69 then went the other way. So I was thinking, I understand. So 71. Usually your brain works backwards. Okay, that's enough. You two, stop being rude, purple. Okay, I'm sorry, Void. Not very nice. I don't mean it. You think forward until he puts you in reverse. And he can't keep living. Okay, put him, put him back. Fix him. All right. Uh, okay. Okay. We need to get back. Yeah, down Gork, are you gonna get started on this or no? I've been trying to, but for some odd reason, two jackoffs keep on talking shit to each other. When it came down to source two, though. The title was said to be Magie Naturalis, Sive de Miraculis, no, Miraculis, Rerum Naturalium. Can you do those two side by side, please? Use them in a sentence. Yeah, because we had a long break between the two. Yeah. I just want to hear it. Just use them in a sentence. First book, second book, go. Oh, they're both the first book. Magie Naturalis Libri, which is a four volume book. Then Source 2 came around and said to. Title of this book was Magie Naturalis Sive de Miraculis Rerum Naturalium. I'm pretty sure there's a demon going to be living in the basement now because I'm pretty sure whatever you just said summoned the sun bitch. You know what? No. If there was a demon, it is already here because uh, I can't tell you how many bodies we have in the freezers down here. I thought you were going to talk about Void's fart. That was god awful. Mm, that was pleasant compared to the smell emanating from that corner over there. That was a gas lobotomy, my friend. That is not pleasant to anyone. Was it really that bad? I was <laughs> talking about relatively, you know. Oh, okay. Relativity. When it's actually like I apologized. Flowers. I even warned you. I said, sorry, I farted. This was <laughs> off podcast, if you're wondering. So. It was literally an Ace Ventura. Do not go in there. It was unholy is what it was. Oh, that's what the smell was in the restroom? Yeah. God damn. I thought there was a rotting carcass. I thought that was you flushing down pieces of corpses down the toilet. No, that's him shitting his pants. I didn't shit my pants. I shit in the toilet. I'm not convinced. Lord. What? If that's not shit, is that pudding in between your ass cheeks? I don't put pudding in my ass cheeks. What the fuck is wrong with of you? Course. Of course. Yeah, that's oh, yeah, that's crossing the line. Gork. Yeah, you don't put food up there. Well, uh, I, I don't. Uh, there's uh, nothing you can say about two grown men grabbing stuff out of the refrigerator and putting it up their butts, which I don't do. <laughs> there's plenty you can say about that part. Like, what the fuck? Is just wanted to see how if I could just, it was a perfect combination between peanut butter, butter, and chocolate sauce, if I could just try to smooth over my butt crack and make it look like one big butt cheek. <laughs> Sounds like you have experience for purple. I call that one a hot cross bun. Oh, you have a name for it? No, I just made that up. You off better, the spot. you better copyright that one. Yeah, no, I, I think mean, it's a free, uh, a uh, license-free song. You anyone can play. Is this is a song to the? Yeah, you didn't you didn't you learn it in music class on recorder? I didn't realize that my teacher was teaching me about some sort of butt food stuff. Wasn't all porn? Wasn't all porn? Your teacher taught you about porn? No. This explains oh. a lot about porn. This explains the 14 year old yeah. in yeah, elementary school. There's a lot of childhood drama. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That never happened. What the hell are you even talking it's about? It's like, you know what works perfect is the analogy. You know, 
They're like vampires. Yeah. Once you get bit, you start biting. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Are you going to start biting? No! I got exactly what the fuck you meant, and that's fucking disturbing. That's like the first time in 71 episodes, Voice got it the first time. No, he says defiantly. So, from what I gathered, is that the Magi stands for the plural for magic. Naturalis is, of course, natural. While Libre is Italian for book. Then, for the second title that was coming from source number two, the word Sive means something along the lines of on the other hand. Miraculous, of course, is what we know what it is, you know, miraculous. While Rerum means phenomena, and Naturalium, of course, roughly means nature. So, yeah, basically talking about natural magic. The wonders of nature. Yeah, basically. Source 1 indicated this book had an... Are you okay, Purple? You seem to be perplexed. You know, he's kind of pissed off that we're talking about a magic book here. No? Are you okay? Well, I'm interested. What do you mean I'm upset about talking about a magic book? Well, because, I mean, your face is kind of like, why are we talking about this book? No, I know why we're talking about the book. Oh, well, then why is your face like that? I don't understand what you what you mean. You have this perplexed look on your face. Thank you for noticing. We you care about our friends. You weren't trying to get Void back, are you? Back for what? Farting. No, it would take um, a little bit of mustard gas to make that even possible. Or kimchi. No, uh, not the way I no, eat kimchi. I eat kimchi. I don't eat mustard gas. Yeah. Mustard in your ass? What? Are you, gonna Are make you another... interested now? <laughs> you going to make another song with your teacher void? No. That's just all wrong. Hot cross buns. Now he's going to put the mustard on the hot dog in your buns. That never happened. That's How fucking... would you like it cut? Hot dog or hamburger? <laughs> oh, he's explained so much, Void. How come you never told me? Your whole history is Where is out. he? Where is he, Void? Who no knows? one ever touched me. So oh, what the fuck we wrong? can probe him all night long if you want. No, you can't. And then we can dissect him. You need to quit protecting him. We're here to help you. Yeah, I know you may have an attachment because of nostalgia, but come on, Bobby. I don't know if nostalgia is the right word, but he's definitely on to something. There's nothing there, so quit digging. Oh, okay. is that what you told them? Ew, that's just disgusting. Yeah. So, Source 1 indicated that this book had an immediate success amongst many people. Pleasing enough people's minds, Gian Battista developed a reputation as a learned magus, which is like a priest. And I think Wikipedia said Muslim priest, but I know better than that, because this guy is Neapolitan, and he was around in the Roman Empire. He then was also called a professor of secrets. In the European community. Whoa, he got a lot of secrets, huh? Kind of like Void. Yeah. No, I don't. Okay, then let's talk about it. What, Void secrets? There's nothing to talk about. Okay, I guess you are the keeper of secrets. You're pretty good, huh? Except for when he slipped up and told us about his teacher. Yeah, that was a real fuck up. Now we know. Yeah. What the fuck are you on about? What do you mean, what are we on about? You and your music teacher coming up with some weird sexual... He's going to start deflecting soon. Mustard games with your butt cracks. When you pressure him, he starts acting like the blonde baboon. Uh-huh. Or orangutan, I mean. I don't, I don't get that, but that's fine. It's, it's a Trump a... joke, Jesus. Oh. Uh, yeah, deflect. Oh, very funny. I like that. Yeah, me too. Okay, can we get back to topic? Okay. Does it hurt too much? No, because it's not fucking real. You want some preparation, H? It feels good on the whole. That's a yes. I'll put that on the shopping list. Oh, guess what I'm going to do soon? What? I'm going to go to the Renaissance Festival dressed up as me. Oh. oh. Well, let's... A- I'm going to advertise our podcast to everybody. Are you sure that dressing up like you is safe? Oh, at that place, you could dress up as a stormtrooper and they won't get mad. Yeah, yeah, he's going to have a cape, so he'll fit in. Maybe not have the mustache. They might, 
They might think I am a wizard. No, I think wizard. the mustache is important. You don't want to. You don't want to. So you're gonna go as you. You're gonna, gonna think I'm a wizard. Okay. I gotta well, look for a staff for my uh, my penetration. Do you have maybe a burlap sack you could wear? That'd be kind of funny. Like just drag it. Just wear the plastic bag over your head. <laughs> he doesn't want to suffocate. That's no, not that, funny, purple. I'm sorry. I don't know why I thought that was funny. That was dark humor. Yeah. Listen, no, I think it's kind of a risk to our species and our mission, but I suppose the Renaissance is just the right amount of fucked up to make it work. So There are a lot of interesting people there. Name one. Uh, my co-worker, former co-worker. You could have said Gork. You could have said fucking Gork. Fuck you, Void. No, no, I thought you meant as an other than him there. I would have said that. Oh, okay. Now, with having a title... Did you just meow? No. Meow. That was purple. You make it fun of me. No, I just... Stop it! I heard something interesting. You pussy. Oh. I'm gonna beat you now. Because I'm a pussy? Yeah. This is not me taking out my own sadness and portraying it as not being sad by getting mad and beating you because I'm frustrated with my life. He has to deal with us, idiots. What do you expect? Why are you being so rude? Yeah, no, no. I think Purple needs to check himself at the fucking door, I guess. There's a place to check in? Ooh, I take that back. <laughs> I have a straight jacket if you want one. Do you have a noose? An anus. Comical void. Topical. Hey. Here, here, let me bend over. Yeah, you want to apply that cream topically, not Meow back to topic. Is that your safe word? No, that's what that's what Gork was saying. Meow. Also, that's Gork's safe word. Now with a title such as having magic in there. I would not understand if you had doubts of why this book would even make sense. Perhaps you would think that it's just the ramblings of someone filled with superstition. And of course, many humans have that today. But this book is more of just the idea that reality can be manipulated with experimentation both from theoretical and practical methods. The word magic is similar to the idea of science. Magicians were actually people who would concoct various ideas and concoctions... Sorry for the redundancy. In Conco- order to concoctions. Yeah. Is he a fucking bird now? Caca caca concoctions. <laughs> Good one, void. So this book was written before scientific methodology that is now today, which is currently still evolving. All the way to Bill Nye. Bill 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 Bill. Uh, uh, who is this Bill Nye? He's the fucking science guy. He's more of an engineer, but has a background in science. The fucking science guy? The fucking science guy. And you have, you actually have to take classes in several disciplines, including science disciplines, to become an engineer. No, I know that. So the fact is people bring a hang-up on it, even though he is related and uh, science adjacent. So enough about that. I mean, it's like utilizing science in order to uh, solve problems. Exactly. Yeah. But, he was an yeah. aerospace engineer, too. Yeah. After the year of 1558... Bill! 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 No, Gian Battista traveled to Apulia, Lombardy, Calabria, Italy. Okay, I kind of ear figured it was either a more India-related place or uh, Italy based upon its name. Okay. Thanks for your That's racist, correlation sensation. No, I mean, just the way that... Uh, no, linguini, baloni, ravioli were places he visited. Artichoke. Artichoke. That's a vegetable. Olive oil. Who are you going to choke? Sardinia. Ghostbusters. Actually, Sardinia is actually a place like Bologna. What are you, you guys talking about something? What are you talking about? He said, who are you going to choke? And I said, Ghostbusters. Why would you do that? <laughs> oh, okay. So, did you just fart? No, he traveled Why to. Why are you M- getting closer to me? I, to here, purple. I need to go get a fucking wall over here. That will solve all of my problems. A sawal? Yeah. <laughs> a sawali? What's a sawali? It's a wall from Swahili. 
I'm going to put up a wall. What are you talking about? We get one of those bamboo dividers. Maybe the wall out south the border would be cheaper well, than that bamboo. You're probably right. And we have plenty of bamboo stuffed with coke from the panda bear incident. Well, I mean, how do you think we smuggled it up Gork's ass? Please tell me not with a 10-foot rod of bamboo. It was five. You know, oh. that kind of hurt. Yeah, I would imagine you put a new spine Plus, in your body. very fucking dangerous. Why? What made it so dangerous? I only put six inches in there, and the rest... The rest was kind of like tailor me. Oh, no wonder the fucking cops found us. You're just wandering around like a goddamn peacock with walking, coke bundles coming out your ass. Walking like a T-Rex with his arch back over with his arms in crippling pain. Because he's got a five-foot shoot of bamboo jammed into his ass. And it isn't even Vietnam. What the fuck are you talking about, Void? I'm talking about b- bamboo torture. I love the smell of bamboo in the morning. I was so confused. We just made it a massive leap, and I was so afraid. My brain is kind of fucked up on nothing. I don't know why. So? Like, I'm not drunk. I'm not on anything. I think I'm just delirious. Kaka, 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 So? Meow. We're Along with you sons of bitches. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Along with Apulia, Lombardy, Calabria, Paris and Venice were also visited by our sapien of the homo. Yeah, he's more learned than us. Imagine us traveling around being the, us bumbling assholes. We are those bumbling assholes. No, that's what I'm saying. Us bumbling assholes traveling around these beautiful, nice places. You guys are weird. Bumbling assholes. Bumbling assholes. You mean the butthole servers? I was going to let you just hang up on that. I was <laughs> I was no, ready I'm to just, watch you. I'm just imagining Yes. some but, assholes just bumbling around. It's just butts with legs instead of a nose, a big huge butt crack. I wasn't even thinking any legs. I was just thinking an asshole. Then like a, like a, just like a, a dirt star. Like a void or something. Yeah. Oh, fuck you. Did that hurt? I wasn't. Uh, is I that, was just using the. <laughs> was that something your music teacher said? Fuck you. Or fuck me. Well, while in Spain, Gian Battista is communicated to having visited the court of Philip II. That butt fuck didn't know what he was doing. Philip II is said to have been well, known. Holy shit, because he was number two. I'm, that doesn't make any He's sense. Not the original. That He's, that is uh, it's a fucking photocopied fake fuck. I don't. I'm, I'm not computer. <laughs> I think he broke it, broke his brain. Ba- no, no, I'm it's just melting. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so confused as to why that ridiculous joke would even I come into play. I think the word play. is advantageous. Right? Which one? Wh- which one? Well, right now it's Philip the Second being a copy. Just because his name is Philip the Second. Yeah, what happened to the first? Yeah, yeah he's only second other. best. Yeah. How do you know? Well, because he's have you, number have you two. Have read about them? That doesn't make any sense. He's the second best. One could have been a complete maniac. How do you know? You're theorizing. We're using scientific fact to analyze that individual. His title is number With two. With assumptions. He's a real tit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see where I see where you're getting at. I see where you're getting at. Yeah, you got your correlation sensation going on. Yeah, it's being facetious. No, I mean serious as a. That's fucking like your main attack. word you go to avoid. Oh, I'm literally. Can you find sitting. another one? Fictitious. 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 Satirical. Okay. Ridiculous. Preposterous. Ludicrous. Pantanus. Philip the Second is said to have been known for alchemy. Pompous. Where he sought miraculous treatments for him. Porcelain. And his family's diseases. Porcupine. Now, before we go any further regarding music. Pineapple. Berkeley pear. Regarding magic. <laughs> and alchemy. Let's just say that during Gian Battista's lifetime, this was how many viewed chemistry in science, claiming that the natural order of reality is controlled by magic. To me, this shows the sheer awe of how reality works. 
because it was unknown in the great detail. Muscles were known to control movements of skeletons, while the growing understanding of the connection to the brain to the muscles was established. Meanwhile, the actual interactions between the connections was not understood at all, which would leave many speculating that it was magical, or something like Norma, some spirits, something in the ether. Like the ether bunny? It's kind of like... He just puts kids to sleep with the ether. Back to kids. Well, no, but you said the ether bunny. Even ether? now. That was a joke that already, someone had already made. Even now, with the most magical thing to humans is the subatomic level of reality. Yes. The cause and effect seems very elusive. So they use their own ways of coming to an understanding of how it functions mm -hmm. by formulating something such as a probability which has been used ever since ancient Greek times and possibly before. But the more one topic is studied, eventually they come to an understanding more so of the cause and effect. So I hope humans come to this understanding with the subatomic realm. Yeah, they're kind of dumb. They're just humans. Yeah, I know, but that doesn't make them any less dumb. I don't know. I think they're very limited by their own, uh, pers well, their own sensories. You know, they only sense certain things. But there's many aspects of reality they don't sense. So they're limited to developing technology to understand more of what they sense and not what they don't sense. Yes, the fifth dimension kind of stuff, right? Fifth dimension? I mean fourth dimension, sorry. <laughs> fourth dimension to the humans would be time. Oh. Uh, uh. You're spending too much time with the humans, Void. Why am I getting dumb? Uh. Oh, my God. Let's get this straight. Wapity do a bop, but I'm bamboo. Hana, hana, ha. Crack on my vagina. Kaka poo poo sata. Kaka poo poo sata. Oh, sugar. Punani. Punani one blonde dung hong fung wang tong. Poo taman. Yes, it's a part of your brain. Right off of Sunset Hills, located in Naples, which is not in Texas, ruled by King Edward, Emperor Lord King the Fourth. Did you know there's several places in Texas? They're named after very famous cities around the world. Yes, like Austin. Or Palestine. Were they just bored? I see what you said there. But that was more going along Boston and Palestine. San Antonio. And you were going ahead. Called and Champagne or something like Brownsville. that. Brownsville. Yeah, Brownsville. That's not, uh, I see what you're doing there. Yeah. I'm saying there's a lot of cities named after famous places in the... The world in Texas, and you go ahead and say the places that are not named after many places in the world. Why are there sparks? San Antonio was a saint born in 202020 years ago, and they had long hair, and they were born hermaphrodite. Did he smell of patchouli oil? They preferred they. Oh. They did not perform a perfume of... They did not reek of the scent of patchouli oil, and I hope to God no one ever does. That shit reeks, and it's awful. If you wear that shit, take it off right now. Go bathe. Get it off your body. That's not very nice. I don't care. I don't care. They're not even near you. I can they could be a big fan, and you just fucking stomped on them. Okay, I'm sorry. That's if why you joined my sector of the tribe, not the purples. Purple sector's kicking ass, by the way. There's nobody in your tribe yet. Yeah, well, I mean, there's gonna be. Yeah, you gotta get that guy in, in your tribe. Yes, uh, human friend, you must join the Purple's tribe. And how you do this is by... You'd be one of Purple's narples. Commenting. I'm with Purple. No, you gotta comment how you like it. And then say, I uh, finish it with I am you like I'm it with deep. Purple. If you like it hard, fast, in between, moderately. Yeah, and you gotta share it. Yeah, share it with a friend. Yeah. Like and herpes. And you get a free t-shirt. 
You do get a free sheet t-shirt for joining Purple. Yeah, you get a free sheet t-shirt. Yes, a free sheet t-shirt. She. It's an internet meme. All right. What's the meme about? Uh, well, uh, it's a not sp- about Gambetista. Oh no, no, but this is a meme where instead of saying sheesh, like De oh la my porta. God, sheesh, you say she. That's nice. Yeah, no, Zoomers are kind of crazy. Zoomers. It is uh, younger than millennials, the Z generation. Anywho, thank you for your uh, gross generalization of a whole group of people based on the time frame they were born in. Once 1560 came around, they... Uh, okay, Purple, what do you want? I'm wondering how old his music teacher is. He probably call him a dirty, filthy boomer, and that's probably why he talks shit on people who are born in that generation. Oh. When you walked in, he was booming his butt. Yeah, when you walked in to music class, did you hear the words "Oh, I'm gonna diddle you"? No, no, he was more of an abusive guy. He would never actually touch anyone. He broke a clarinet over the fat kid's head. <laughs> Not far from it, he threw music stands at my brother in class. Did and he take the broken clarinet yeah. and shove it up your ass? Yep. Uh, nope, you and... nope, nope. It was only anger and aggression and throwing stuff. A I don't know. Thrusting, that sounds like A lot PTSD. of sweaty thrusting. No, no, no. I think he knew better than that. He had anger, man, but it was already calmed down by the time we had him. You sure? Yeah. You so probably just, had him, too. He just stroked you softly? No, no. No touching ever. Sometimes you Are you talking about Groth? No, 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 no. You know, that guy got in trouble. No, no, no. Grade school no. guy. Yeah, to his do. name was Grot too, right? Sometimes no. you gotta make some love. Yeah. Fucking give her some smooches too. Hey, where's Purple? Where'd you do with him? Oh, yeah, he's a singer here. Why does he have a cowboy hat on? I just wanted to pretend to be your music teacher. Uh, no, no, no. So hey. you would love me? No, 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 no. Hey, if you want, there's a there's a gork inside of me that, that could talk to you. Oh, no. A lot of frustration and rage. No. Yeah. I call him Pumper. Well, I like to call him Gay Gork, but, I mean, you can call him Pumper all you want. Pumper your butts. That's just fucking disgusting. Oh, now it's disgusting. Well, if it's someone who doesn't want it, yes. You know what? I gotta tell you something. Shit is shit, whether you want it or not. Yes. Okay. Back to topic. I see where we're going. We're starting to derail... No, I'm just trying to be logic here. No, it's very logical. I feel it. This I... is a train wreck and everyone is fucking dead. This is a basement <laughs> and we're still alive, Void. What have you been through? Nothing. Is... We really need to have a discussion with Gay Gork here, Void. I think he's verbalizing like in internal memories. He 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 just None all of a sudden this is true. They he are opens making his up eyes. stuff. He opens his fucking eyes and he goes this is a train wreck. That, Everyone is dead. That would actually explain his emotional outburst. Oh, he's would. not emotional. You're emotional. That explains so much, Void. What? I think he said he wants to give a blowy to Mr. McIntosh, your music teacher. Mr. McIntosh? Oh, did he take apples and put them up there? No, no one did anything. That's a made-up name and a made-up person. <laughs> big Mac and Tower. Mac and on the void. Ew, yuck, disgusting. Yeah, the Big Mac double whopping cheeseburger. Ew. The you sloppy Joe and Mac and already? cheese. Well, we currently are on topic. Well, one topic. You want to go topic. back to the topic? Yes. Okay. Purple, all in favor? Say aye. 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 Once... 1560 came around. They it was lo- unanimous. Why did we wait too long to come back to it? I don't know. It, you know, we just go with the flow. And let it come out. Heavy flow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Now I get why we did. Okay, go ahead. Good for you. Once 1560 came around, De La Porta formed a group of humans focusing around academics called Academia De La Segreti. I've seen that anime. Yeah. Academy of Secrets is what it's called. You okay, Void? I was just laughing at uh, Purple Street. Yeah, I know. I was just trying to tease you. 
Knock, knock. Much like his father, he would have meetings in what was called his villa of Vico Equenza. Vico Matter? This was a very exclusive club, you guys. There's a demand that the person must present a fact of knowledge that they discovered about the world which nobody else knew. That seems like a lot of clout. It's really easy to do for you. All you have to do is walk up to them and say, I just sharted a little. And then they'd have to let you proceed. It was me who dealt it. I think you got it all figured out there, Gork. (laughs) Nobody knew except for me. I discovered it. I kind of discovered you in a way. Explain. It's not the shit that makes the man. It's the man that makes the shit. Yeah, that's very true. Then why would it discover me? I don't know, kind of put you on the spot if you really think about it. Put you on the map. Without that shit, you'd be nothing. Not really. You'd just be another lonely piece of shit on the street that has nothing to do with the secret society of academic heroes. Boyd, I think we found Purple's problem. What's that? A projection problem right there. Well, he's the piece you know, of shit. Dad, you got really enthusiastic about being a piece of shit without the shit. I am surrounded by those who don't understand. So if you're listening to the podcast, make sure you join in Purple's team. Share around, share around, share around with all your friends. Yeah, don't be afraid. Why is he German now? Is he turning to a Scheisse film? Why, why would you say that? What, a Scheisse film? Yeah. Maybe you watch your fucking mouth. Ooh, that was floating into a dangerous zone. Okay, back to the podcast. Hit it, Gork. I Don't wait for head? nothing. You just go. You want me to hit you Give in the, the side business. of your head or the back of your head? Go, go, go. What part of your head you want me to hit? I want to know all about King Henry VIII the Fifth. Think we should cut him open, boy. Disciples. Yeah, his there's academic. no disciples. I don't know where you're coming from, bro. Once 1589 hit, there was a 20 volume edition of his magic book that came out with reports of some of the happenings and secrets you know that occurred in his academy. When it came down to his first release of the magic book, in terms of stats, Magie Naturalis Libri had 16 editions in Latin, 6 editions in Italian, 7 in French, and 2 in Dutch. But by 1583, Magie Naturalis Libri was prohibited in Madrid for its stance on witchcraft being natural in the early portion of uh, the 1570s, according to source one, the but holy Roman helmet empire initiated legal cases against Gian Battista de la Porta because of his book. He was under surveillance for the rest of his life by the Spanish Inquisition. No, by all the inquisitions of uh, the Roman Empire. Source two claimed that in 1578, this Neapolitan Inquisition shut down his Academy of Secrets. That would be a great name for a fantasy book, you guys. GM... What? Chamber of Secrets? GM Batista de la Porta. Colin, the Academy of Secrets. Ooh. And it could be like a fantasy book. Oh, yeah, the Chamber of Secrets and a butthole? Academy of Secrets. And the colon, you mean. I didn't didn't coach this. It's not a bit. Sorry. I'm just being stupid. I don't know how someone can be stupid. It's, um, listen, Gork. How can you be something other than yourself? It's called acting. uh, That's actually a very good point. Well, that's uh, like acting is different from, you're still yourself. No. Yeah. Uh -uh. Uh-uh. Wait, you mean everything about you changed? Yes. Really? Your brain changed? To fall into character? Yes. That's Your the whole most preposterous process. thing ever. You're still yourself. It's just functioning differently. Nope. Yeah? Your stances... Or you would think all your molecules inside your body changed? Well, maybe a little bit, you because think your brain changes a little bit. That's an interesting think. thing to say that your physical being is what makes you you. Definitely, that is what makes you you. I thought, but, uh, think for there I am. So if yeah, we you were somehow... Yeah, because of your brain... So if we were somehow able to transfer my brain into your body and your brain into my body, would my body still be me? No. But that would because be Because you just mixed self. us up. 
Yes, but who would own that body? Would it be your body or my body? But I'm the mind well, no, inside No, 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 it ball. wouldn't be yours because we <laughs> traded Void. I no, would... no, no. I'm in the pejorative of you as between you two as in talking about someone being Which a... one's mine? Exactly. <laughs> I think our bodies would reject that. So you guys would just start throwing up? No, we'd die, is what he's saying. Our bodies would reject the brain and therefore... We yes, would but it would still be his brain because, say, if it was the thoughts in his mind, yeah, but it was then, still the same brain. But okay. do you realize the neurological connections throughout the whole body? I mean, there's what? at least tens of thousands brain transplant of or What if we were able to transplant specific parts of our brain into someone else's brain? Then there'd be memories of your shit and my shit. Great. Are yeah, but what I remember is though to, I participated in it. Are we it? turning into a uh, Jim Carrey dramedy about love, loss, and memory? Oh, my God, Void. What? What is Jim Carrey? He's the guy that came out of Ryan Harrison's butthole. Oh, you're talking Ryan about Ryan Harrison's butthole? Do you mean a rhinoceros? Yes. However you say it. Okay. The audience knows I said that right. You're just being... Ryan Harrison. So we're going to end on a note of the Inquisition. No one expects it. And we're going to continue part two of the biography next week, you guys. Okay. Because it's already uh, well over an hour. It's like an hour and a half. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, 1990. Oh, we have a... Well, I, Gork Mouth, have an account on both a face fuck your mom book and a tiki talk. Nice. So he's an alarm clock and a porn star. Great. What? No, just keep going. Just work and it. the Correlation Sensation has an account on the tubes of you. Yes. And Twitter. Yes. And Instagram. Yes. And then we have a pod bean as our host. Yes. Go to all those, my fellow humans. Yes. Like, subscribe, worship, review, praise, and you will get a free t-shirt. And I'm with purple. Don't forget that part. Oh, you're purple if you're a purple marple. Yeah, well. Yeah, choose void, gork, or purple. Of course purple. I, I gork, I'm I'm very inclusive, so I'm like, hey, you choose who you want, because I know you're going to choose me, of course. I knew he was going to say that. Okay, why don't you pitch it to the people now? You assumed now? I was going to say it correctly. So gork is very inclusive, because it's obvious pick that you're going to pick gork. What about you, void? Why should the people pick you? I'm not sure if you just want to be goofy. Okay. Well, that's a very persuasive argument. Um, I think that you should go with purple because I'm definitely not void and I'm kind of not gork. If you're like ASMR, you can get with void because he does nothing. Well, I do it too, goddamn. That's my void impression. Mine is like this. That's a very good Void impression. I actually didn't do a lot of that today, this week. I know. I'm so proud of you, Void. Yes. You want a meat stick? Sure, I'll take a meat stick. Oh, no. That's a keto wrapper. It's half eaten. Okay. We're awesome. You're awesome. We love you. Yes. We leave in peace. Yeah. Toodaloo. Bye. We leave in peace. <laughs>